out there in the YouTube world. I'm going to do another uh, update video about my 12C. Uh, if you've ever wondered what's involved in changing the uh, cat back on these cars, I'm going to show you in this video. First you have to remove uh, one of the rear wheels after you uh, elevate the car. Remove the uh, wheel liner. And then there are two bolts. Get my hand out of the way here. See if we can just get a clear picture of that. Okay, where that opening is, that's one of two bolts that have to be removed on each side. There's another one right back in there. Those are what hold the uh, outside cover that covers up the exhaust. This section right here. Those bolts look like this. As you can see, these are all the bolts removed just from one side. After removing the exhaust cover bolts from each side, the next step is to remove the rear wing. To do that, you have to lift up on the wing. You can do that manually. You just need it up enough to get access to the bolts under here. There's four on each side. After removing those, you carefully lift it up off the mounting plates and there's a harness on this side that has to be disconnected. That harness is for the uh, third brake light. All right, the wing's off. Here's the harness that had to be disconnected. There's the wing. Really easy to remove. Next step is I need to remove the bolts holding the carbon engine covers on. All right, and to my surprise, the uh, most difficult thing to remove so far has been these side engine covers. Being that they are made from carbon fiber or solid carbon fiber, they are extremely rigid. So you can't flex these things and get them to go over this cover. So what I found out is while removing them, you have to completely disconnect this uh, overflow, coolant overflow reservoir. It wasn't that difficult. It was two, just six by one bolts, but use a 10 millimeter socket on both sides. But I found on this side, a disconnect, the hose going to the throttle body. And on this other side, the driver's side, I had to disconnect, disconnect the uh, intake noise generator. This is the device that pumps engine noise straight into the cabin. And it does that through this rubber hose. And it goes into what looks like speakers inside. And now that the side engine covers are off, I'll be able to lift this section up and out, and that will expose the factory exhaust. And now that the uh, engine cover is off, you can see the original exhaust on here. This is basically the muffler. It's a large resonator. Two catalytic converters, one on each side, and then the turbochargers. That's really all that mutes the exhaust sound on this car. While I'm this deep into it, I'm going to remove these surrounds. To remove this exhaust, it looks like two bolts here, two bolts here, these two clamps, and then the whole thing will come out. Once I get it out, I'll uh, show you the difference between the two. There is going to be a bit of a weight reduction. Stuck with the exhaust out. I now have access to the screws holding the exhaust surrounds in. I'm going to pull those out. I'm going to prep them and then shoot them with some black paint. For whatever reason, the, the finish they use has stained. It kind of looks like rust. Here's all the parts I had to remove. And here's the exhaust that came stock with the car. And this is the optional sport exhaust. Believe it or not, this was a $5,400 option. 
versus this, that was just standard equipment. I picked this thing up used on eBay at a drastic discount over what the option price would have been. Now you may be wondering why did I go with an OEM? Primary reason, warranty. This car has an extended warranty on it. Here's the sport exhaust installed. I went with the high temp flat black on the exhaust tips. Here it is all back together. I'm still thinking I may change these out for carbon fiber. And I went ahead and used the same paint to uh, change the silver that were on these two parts. Overall, it was a lot of work just to update these tips and to change the cab back out to the OEM Sport Exhaust. The only thing left now is to uh, fire it up and see what it sounds like.